Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Ooh, what was that? I was trying to figure out, I was like, what is this video? What is the purpose of this video? How is this video going to benefit you guys? This video is going to be showing you guys how I prep to make multiple colors of lip gloss at one time to save me some time, make my life easier, and hopefully this helps you guys out too. This is what I did last night when I made my glosses, and it did help me kind of make a larger quantity still be able to have leftovers so i can fill up my tubes this week so yeah hopefully this video is helpful all right so i already washed my hands um these are all brand new tupperware containers and the reason i'm making them and mixing them in this instead of in plastic bowls is because i think it'll be easier for me throughout the week since you know this week is the week that i'm getting in my supplies so since i already have the larger squeeze tubes in already i'm just filling those tubes up and um this is what I'm holding my pre-made gloss in. So I already put Versagel in all of these. I measured it out, it's the same amount. It's um, two ounces or three ounces? Three ounces. Um, I kind of have my, I don't have like specific measurements that I use perfectly, but I do kind of have my, my consistency. I mixed my consistency already so I know what consistency I like for my gloss to be. So to help me save time with um, mixing, because mixing actually is kind of tiring. And I did already squeeze some coconut oil into all of these. And then I remember I was like, oh wait, let me just go ahead and film this for you guys. Cause I do want to keep showing you guys more mixing videos to be helpful as possible. Um, and then I have my little container right here with all my oils in it. So since I already put the coconut oil in, the same amount of coconut oil that I put in this one, I put in these two as well. And I tried this method out yesterday and it did help me. So I kind of just eyeball it. So you guys will see what I'm doing. So I cannot tell you my measurements because it's kind of like how I, whenever I cook, I know what I'm doing when I cook. I have my own little mixture. It always comes out the same. Um, it's the same way with this I'm learning already. It's kind of it's kind of fun. I really enjoy doing it. So just like I like cooking, I like mixing up my products. So um, I have my poly, this thing that I told you guys I don't know how to pronounce. So I'm just using a little dropper. I don't really know how much I'm gonna use. So this, But the same amount I put in here, I'm gonna put in the other one. And then my vitamin E oil. So I'm just gonna use the lid for this one. I don't really have an exact recipe. I'm not trying to be like, you know, mean or anything, but it's just like the other videos that I have their own consistency. They make their own formula. They use their own specific oils that they like to use. And since I've been testing stuff out, this is just what I, this is my little mixture, my little concoction that I like. I'm giving you all the tools you need. You just have to create your own um but i do recommend starting off with mineral oil first because it's inexpensive and you can make a pretty good um consistency lip gloss with just using mineral oil so if you were just trying to start like like i did in my first video i would just used um, um mineral oil and the lip gloss actually came out pretty good and it was just made with the mineral oil the flavoring oil and whatever pigment i cho chose to use in there you know that's a good one to start with but I really like the vitamin E oil and I like the coconut oil. That's why I'm continuing to use it so far. If I'm not mistaken, that's it. Yeah. So now everything has the same mixture in it. So I'm going to mix this up and see what the consistency is like. And just, you see how it gets clumpy before it starts to get smooth. So don't be scared if you're mixing your formula and you're like, why does it look like that? That's completely normal. See, this is still thick, so I'm gonna add more oils. And, I'm, and as I'm adding more oils in this one, I'm gonna be adding more oils in those other ones too. Um, so today is September 17th. Today is the actual day that my mom passed away. She fell asleep and didn't wake up the next day. So um, I'm trying to keep my mood as good as possible. I'm not in a bad mood, I'm not in a good mood. I'm just kind of in a, I like the same mood I was in yesterday. I'm adding more coconut oil, so you guys can see that, to my mixture, and I'm gonna mix that up, see if I like it. And I remember how many pumps I used, so I'm gonna do the same thing to and add it into the other ones. So I'm gonna add some more coconut, or not coconut oil, mineral oil again. As you start making them, like just like with me, like as I started making them, I started to realize that 
I know my consistency so I can tell if it's like okay I want to put a little bit more and with the oils or mainly with the mineral oil and the coconut oil I try to keep those two at the same amount like balanced in the mixture and then the vitamin E oil I just put like a decent amount um not as much as I put in the, as these other two oils I put the same amount of same amount of vitamin E oil and um the polybutene these two oils I put about the same amount in those two consistency vitamin E oil is very very thick I got the vitamin E oil directly from TKB Trade, so I'm just gonna keep mixing. Oh, but another helpful tip I could tell you is that I seen on their website that they did say, um, or their recommendation, which they they say to use one part, yeah, one part oil and two parts of the lip gloss base. So some of you guys might be thinking, what is the point of her? mixing them all up into separate tubes why doesn't she just make a big mixture um i don't trust myself to make a big mixture yet <laughs> i just don't um but this is really helpful for me because it's helping me master my formula the more i'm mixing it up i don't know how to describe it but this is a consistency i really like so far um since I started making my little mixtures, this is just the consistency I like, okay? A lot of people who are deciding to have a lip gloss business nowadays are young. They're in their teens and it's so inspiring. I wish I knew more back then or was inspired to, you know, have my own business back then. And you guys see I'm mixing for a long time, like a long time. So don't just think you're gonna mix, mix, mix and boom, it's done. If you're making a smaller portion, that's kind of true, but you know, I'm making a larger portion, so I'm taking my time and making sure the consistency is nice and everything's mixed in properly. So look, I wanna show you guys something to see about how much oil is in there compared to the lip gloss base. So don't be scared to go in with your oils, okay? Oils are your friend. They're going to help your lip gloss be more moisturizing, not so thick, easier to mix. And remember, like I said, it gets a really weird consistency before it gets nice. It gets clumpy. It starts to separate. It looks scary. It looks like, oh my God, what did I do? And then the more you mix it, it gets better. Oh, wait, let me move this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. And this one, when I mix it up, it should be just perfect because I showed you guys my little trick. But when you're learning, don't think that the first time you make lip gloss, it, the first time you mix it, it's supposed to be a piece of cake. Especially when you start mixing different oils. This looks nice. When you put the flavoring oil, it does get a little bit more loose. Just so you know. So this is pretty much a consistency I wanted to be at. So I'm leaving these spoons in here and just covering it up lightly because I'm gonna make, make um, three different colors. Shelly, um, Selenite, and I might put Ashley in here. I have one named after myself. Um, Shelly, I showed you guys in my video yesterday or I showed you guys what it looks like and I also um, told you guys why I named that one Shelly and what color it was inspired by. Even why it's scented the way that it's scented. So make sure you check out that video if you haven't seen it. I will have a link somewhere in this video. I'm just showing you guys this over and over again so you can see it actually does work. Like all of these consistencies are the same. So once you learn your consistency and you are comfortable enough, you can try this out. But I'm just showing you what I'm doing. So, you know, don't hold me to it, but I'm just telling you this is what worked for me. So hopefully if you guys are making multiple colors to make your life and your business easier for you, so you're not constantly mixing all the time, you can try this out. Okay, so this is pretty much how you prepare your lip glosses for your pigment. So if you guys want to see me actually, you know, mixing up the pigments, and filling up some squeeze tubes. Stay tuned for my next video. If you guys like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, thumbs up. Um, if you guys are not subscribed, make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you guys can see um, every time I upload a video. I'm sorry. Like I said, you know, I'm not in the best mood. I'm, you guys will see me in better moods very soon. I'm just kind of like 
I'm being myself, so I don't know. Some days I want to film, some days I don't want to film. I'm going to actually film the video of me mixing these together right after this one, but this video is already kind of long, so hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully this saves you guys some time with your business. It helps you learn your consistency a lot better. And yeah, if you guys like the video, thumbs up. I'm going to say that again. Thumbs up, subscribe, comment below, and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.